human anatomy. I can still remember during my first year at class when our professor told us he will not recommend any books for studying human anatomy. He said that we can use any book we found helpful or atlas or any material which we might choose to study from. He was not going to recommend anything and we will, he will give us his study notes which we will study from in collaboration with any book that we choose to study from. So I looked over the internet and the choices which were available and the advices which were there were very overwhelming and there were just too many of them to go through all of them and I didn't know which one to choose so I compiled this video to help people in the same situation which I was in. So this video, in this video I will talk about the three tips of studying human anatomy and the best YouTube channels for teach that teaches human anatomy. So basically in this video the outline goes as follows. I'll first give the three tips of studying human anatomy in general, then move on to show the books I use to study human anatomy and go further to show you the best YouTube channels for learning anatomy. So the three most important tips for studying human anatomy goes as follows. You need to schedule your studying course. It is very broad and extensive and very hard to keep track of what you're doing and what you need to learn and what you've already learned. And the most important part I can add on that is that you need to start very early. You need to start early with your study. You can't just start just uh, two weeks before the exam and think you will pass. Because human anatomy is very extensive, very elaborate, and very detailed and very hard to learn at first. But the master and the key of everything in human anatomy is repetition and repetition and repetition. You need to repeat the content and repeat it again and repeat it again and build a concrete understanding. So in this, the, in the next part, I'll show you the books I used to learn human anatomy. The main textbooks I used for reading anatomy was this book, the more clinically orientated anatomy textbook. So this book is very good and inside this book the chapters are divided into like systems, systematic division. So there's a chapter for the thorax, abdomen, pelvic, lower body, upper body. And if I can show you, they have very good uh, detailed pictures here. If you can look somewhere, let me show you. Uh, here in the abdominal part, you can see the pictures are very clear and very nice. But some chapters you see there's a lot of reading involved without pictures. So if there's a gap between your picture, between the pictures in the book and the paragraphs you're reading, you can of course use the Sobota Atlas Connection, which I really, really don't recommend it unless you really need to get it. It causes this atlas is very expensive and the content it has, you can find it for free on YouTube, which uh, on YouTube or Google search the pictures found in here but the one i used more often than any other chap any other of the material i had was this uh, nectar's flashcards these flashcards are divided similarly to these books because they are systemic division if i can show you one on how they are here at the head and neck part <coughs> yeah so this is not the first one the first one is still in there so you can see here after you read from the facebook the the, the textbook so you can move to this flashcard to prepare for your lab exams mostly. You can see here they give you the pictures here and then with labels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then you can identify the this parts. And after you identify them, here at the back they have the names for them. It's very good for you to actually know the parts and understand them for the <coughs> lab exams. And then the most, secondly the last part you will need is the YouTube channels because sometimes the paragraphs in the book are very long and very it's very tedious reading them so if you check on youtube and find the video the video can explain the paragraph uh, very quickly and shorter so i'll show you the youtube channels which you can follow to find good wow you know those days when you come from the anatomy classes and you feel really confused you don't really know what was happening so the first channel i recommend you to come to is professor fink's channel so you need to subscribe here and come to his anatomy lecture series so in Professor Fling's videos, he actually does not go into much details, but is very good in making you get the idea of what the system is about. Like when you need to learn the anatomy of the upper body or the anatomy of the lower body, the abdomen, he will explain and give very good explanations. Two. The second channel I recommend is uh, Anatomy Zone. The first thing that you need to do when you arrive here is subscribe to this channel, which is very, very, very good. You know when you are reading a chapter in the textbook and it's very long or very confusing and don't really understand what is going on 
or you don't get some detail for example here if you come to the lower limb arteries i'll show you the picture in the books as you can see here and it's a very long paragraph but if you look at here he explains it in about 5 minutes 14 seconds and then he explains it in detail which are enough so you no longer need to, to read from the textbook three also in this channel here this guy is very good but mostly i have more videos in physiology but some videos that he has in anatomy are very good you also need to subscribe here he has videos as you can see here highlighted in yellow which are also in anatomy and the videos in anatomy he has are very 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 good the ones are here i recommend also checking out and subscribing to his channel also as you can see for example here he draws them and his explanations are very very good you can see here several branches coming off it. Okay. Firstly, four. The last channel I recommend is Dr. Najib's lectures. Actually, it's a very, very, very good channel. If you can find a topic in here and you watch it from here, you don't really need to read from your textbook anymore or reference any material any uh, fed after that. All you need to do is just look at the nectars, flashcards after reading here and you'll be fine. It's a very best channel. I recommend subscribing to it. Let me show you one example. He explains with a marker and his explanations are very elaborate and very extensive and very good. Right. As you can see here, right? he draws them, his things, I all of them one, himself. Two. It's very good. I recommend subscribing to him and following his channel and watching his videos. It's a very, very good channel. Well, those are the four anatomy channels I know here on YouTube. If you know any channel other than the ones I've mentioned, please write it in the comment section. My name is Paki and this is Everything Anatomy.